The guidelines provide information on a safety monitor system that may be used as a means of fall protection where it is not practicable to use a method of fall restraint, fall arrest, or rope access, or where the use of a fall arrest or rope access system will result in a greater hazard. A safety monitor system uses a combination of a control zone and safety monitor. It notes that it's a system in which a trained worker is designated to monitor work activities in a control zone to ensure that work is done in a manner that minimizes the potential for a worker to fall. But what is a control zone? It's an area between an unguarded edge of a building or structure and a safe distance of at least two meters or six and a half feet. It is intended for level or low sloped work surfaces. It is not to be used on a working surface where the slope of that surface exceeds four vertical to 12 horizontal, for skeletal structure work or for scaffold erection and removal. The width of a control zone is to be at least two meters or six and a half feet with additional distance if any of the following conditions exist. The working surface is slippery or sloped. The risk is increased by the use of tools or other equipment near the control zone. The risk is increased by environmental conditions such as ice, rain, or heavy winds. Or the work is carried out at an elevation relative to the unguarded edge. For example, working on an air handling unit from a ladder. A line defining the control zone must be established along the internal edge of the control zone by a raised warning line or other equally effective means at all times during such work. For example, an acceptable raised warning line includes a line with both of the following. A high visibility material or a line flagged or clearly marked with high visibility materials at intervals not exceeding two meters or six and a half feet rigged and maintained to be between 0.85 meters and 1.15 meters or 34 and 45 inches above the working surface. If workers will at all times remain within the safe zone, which means they will be further from the unguarded edge than the width of the control zone, no safety monitor or other fall protection system is required. Only workers directly required for the work at hand are permitted inside the control zone. And when there, additional fall protection is required. For example, fall restraint or fall arrest. If this is not practicable, a safety monitoring system can be used. The role of the safety monitor is to ensure that work activity in the control zone is performed in accordance with the fall protection plan and in a manner that minimizes the potential for a worker to fall. A safety monitor will be experienced in the work overseen and trained in the role of safety monitor. Be present at all times when a worker is in the control zone. Have complete authority over the work as it relates to the prevention of falls. Engage in no other duties while acting as the safety monitor. Be positioned to have a clear and continuous view of the work. Be able to have normal voice communication with the workers being protected. Monitor no more than eight workers and be instantly distinguishable from other workers. The written fall protection plan for the workplace must specify the name of each safety monitor. On a narrow roof, such as one less than 12 meters or 40 feet wide, an employer may proceed with a safety monitor system without using a raised warning line by declaring the entire work surface the control zone. This must be specifically noted in the fall protection plan. The safety monitor must be positioned in a safe location and have a clear view of the work.